What's going on, guys? Um, I was driving. Okay, this Toyota Corolla has sixty-three thousand miles on it. So I'm driving. I got my cruise control on, and and this appeared on my dash while I was driving. I got my cruise control on and I'm driving from Vegas and there's a lot of um, debris like the insects and all that stuff but anyways that's what happens when you're driving at nighttime in the highway 15 so I was on I had my cruise control set and all of this all of a sudden my car started slowing down like it was trying to shift it was downshifting and the rpm went up high like 4000 5000 rpm like it was having difficulty keeping uh, keeping up with the speed that i set it on which was at 65 it was diff it was having difficulties and i'm like what's going on so i looked down to check if i accidentally hit the gear shift down to downshift like you know like the b b as in bravo uh or b as in boy for the, uh, the civilian people out there um so i was checking to see if i did something which will cause the car to downshift and this is a cvt so I was basically thinking about what's causing this. And then all those lights turned on. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. I got this secondary collision brake system malfunction and it says see the dealer. I'll go fine, you know, whatever it is, I'm fine with it. And then I was trying to set my cruise control back at 65 because I lost the cruise control. It was having difficulties maintaining the 65 mile an hour range. It was actually looking for the proper gear. It didn't know what gear it was. So I turned off the uh, cruise control. And then when I was trying to reset it back again, the, the cruise control um, stopped working. So I got all this check engine light, pre-collision uh, emblem. Uh, I got all this uh, check engine stuff on my dash. And then I turned off or I did not reactivate the cruise control because I couldn't anymore. So I'm driving this thing like, like, you know, my old car back when I was in high school, just relying on my foot, the weight of my foot to keep it at 65 or 70. Anyway, so I stopped over here at Chevron. <laughs> Anyway, I got some coffee, right? And then I cleaned the, the Toyota emblem. I cleaned it up really well. And then the camera on my windshield, I cleaned it up.
and then uh, went to the bathroom, got some coffee, and came back and restarted my car. And then everything reset. It. And then I double checked to make sure my PCS on my menu, on my dashboard, the pre collision system PCS, check that, it's on. And I check all the other stuff. Um, I forgot what it's called already. The anything dealing with the collision, they're all on. I just uh, you'll see it on the video that I double check to see if they're all on normal. And there is no check engine light. And there you go. I just made another video by accident. So. Anyway, guys, I hope this helps you guys. Um, there were there was nothing wrong with the car. I was able to drive it well. Uh, I just shut off your cruise control or don't try to reactivate the cruise control. Just drive it normal, and then get to a place where it's nice and safe and with a, it's well lit. Well, like a Chevron gas station. So clean up the uh, camera the um, Toyota emblem camera and then also the windshield camera so you gotta clean them clean both of them and then shut off your engine um, for about 10 minutes and then restart your car and that should clear up any codes uh, that's that's active on the the collision secondary collision braking system if after starting the car and the check engine light and the PCS the secondary braking system is still uh, indicating problems uh, that means the computer still has that memory so what you want to do is go into the menu and turn off the PCS and the LDA and the RDA and then turn it back all on and then shut off your engine wait for about 10 minutes and then when you start the engine it should have a brand new readings taken from the the Toyota logo camera and the windshield camera and that should do it I guess the lesson um, you can take from here is keep the Toyota emblem clean and also the eye the, the windshield there's a camera there it looks like an eye clean that make sure you clean both and uh, have a window cleaner handy and some nice rag or clean paper towel in your back of your car because I use those to clean my headlights and this time around I use it to clear up this mess that I have anyway guys I hope this will help you guys if you guys have this uh, what is this thing called again secondary collision brake system malfunction all right, guys, keep on subscribing, and I hope this will help everybody out there. And, man, I'm glad this thing is fixed. All right, guys, keep on rocking. Keep on subscribing. And please share this video to the people that might need this in the future.